I was blown away by Kanye West. I really was. It was fascinating. This was an unvarnished, authentic. We've rarely heard a man speak so honestly and so movingly about what he believes. Kanye West uh, is, is, is wise, yeah. uh, he's, he's unique, and uh, certainly he's fearless. He's a very important voice. There's such authenticity to that that it just makes me want to hear more. Speaking truth to power, calling things out, and Kanye West does that. He speaks truth to power. He is one smart guy. Is Kanye trying to be a force for good? Absolutely. Yeah, he is. Very special intellectual renaissance. When you consider like people like Tucker or uh, Kanye. Kanye's genius. I'm gonna make an analogy, Kunta Kente and Roots. He, they got him out on a tree and they're whipping him. What's your name? And they want him to say left wing liberal. Kanye West refuses to live in that box. I mean, you can't help but like him because he is not apologetic. Yeah. Have I reached Alex Jones territory yet? No, I think uh, you're telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> And that's okay if you do. I, I, I think he's dead on on this one. I know for me, it just made me think, man, we could reach so many more people with this uh, powerful movement that believes in freedom. I know that what I'm listening to is unique and interesting. If Kanye West believes it, imagine how many more people out there maybe aren't talking about it, but would like to. Uh, Ye West threatening to go to war with Jewish people on Twitter. He appears to imply Diddy a fellow rapper was controlled by the Jews on Instagram. You just watched a compilation from Media Matters that has aged terribly. And it's so funny to see all of these Fox News pundits praise Kanye West and then have to turn around and say, mm, okay, maybe we got a little bit more than we bargained for. I just love it. You love to see it. So <laughs> it's funny because... The GOP, they keep inadvertently aligning with Nazis and then realizing, oh my God, no, we disavow, we disavow, we don't support them. And they don't disavow often. Like, it takes a lot to get them to actually denounce one of their own. But there's been so many oopsies with Nazis lately, or at least over the course of the last year or so, that they have no choice but to denounce. For example, Kanye West isn't the only Nazi that they found themselves in bed with. Lawmakers Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar has spoken at events hosted by Nick Fuentes, a neo-Nazi. Republican candidate Carl Palladino, who was endorsed by GOP House leadership Elise Stefanik, praised Hitler. On top of that, Steven Crowder said that Hitler was bad and his fans turned on him and said that they disagree because, of course. Oh, and then there's also Charlottesville, where Trump said that there were good people on both sides. So you've got to understand here. These aren't just a lot of accidents. The reason why the modern GOP party and all of their propagandists keep accidentally aligning with Nazis is because the modern Republican Party is, for all intents and purposes, a fascist organization. In an article for The Independent, Patrick Cockburn explains, it is worth listing the chief characteristics of fascist movements in order to assess how far they are now shared by the Republicans. Exploitation of ethnic, religious, and cultural hatreds is probably the most universal feature of fascism. Others include a demagogic leader with a cult of personality who makes messianic but vague promises to deliver a golden future, appeals to law and order, but a practical contempt for legality, the use, manipulation, and ultimate marginalization of democratic procedures procedures, a willingness to use physical force, demonizing the educated elite, and the media in particular, shady relations with plutocrats seeking profit from regime change. One by one, these boxes have been ticked by the Republicans until the list is complete. The Tea Party movement was an important staging post on the road to Trumpism. Trump himself possesses all the classic features of a fascist leader, though he was somewhat hemmed by the institutional and political divisions of power. What explains the descent of the Republican Party into fascism? Racial division explains much. The division of American culture along with the same geographical lines as the Civil War explains more. Add to this the frightening dislocation imposed on white working and middle-class Americans by technological change and globalization. Powerful forces are let loose similar to those that once propelled the rise of European fascism and is now doing the same in America. So make no mistake about it, the Republican Party is a fascist organization. When you look at the characteristics of fascism, they tick off a horrifying number of boxes. This is the reality of the situation. We shouldn't bury our heads in the sand. We shouldn't try to pretend as if that isn't the case. We need to accept the reality that one of the two major parties in this country is fascistic. They weren't always this way, but this was their trajectory. 
because they've been for a while pandering to the most extreme elements within their base, electing more and more radical lawmakers who reject reality, embrace fascism. And now this is where they've arrived at the logical conclusion to where they were headed. And it's time for us to stop pretending as if this isn't the case. I still see people denying the reality of the Republican Party being fascist, because how could you say that this party is fascist when my dad is a Republican, my uncle's a Republican, people I know are Republicans, so they're not fascists. Well, they don't have to be fascists to still support an overall fascist organization. See, the reason why fascism grows in the first place is because when people become desperate, when economic changes occur rapidly, people become desperate. And that desperation makes them more susceptible to radicalization. And they start to look for answers to what's causing them pain. And Republicans don't want working class Americans to look at the system. So they deflect and they try to get you to say, actually, the blame is immigrants. It's queer people. They're the ones causing you all this pain. They're the reason why you're in this predicament. This is bound to happen more and more as Nazis and more far-right extremists feel at home within the Republican Party. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.